So um, I'm in Kansas City right now. But again, for some reason, I've been having this urge recently, and I think it's because I've actually been meditating a lot. So I've been a lot more mindful and thinking a lot more about things. But the point was yesterday, I'm in a plane. And then I get up and I go to use the bathroom and I'm peeing in the plane. Um, and then I'm like, holy cow, I'm like pissing in a plane. Uh, and I just started to realize the magnificence of all the stuff that humans have accomplished. And specifically in this case of the fact that like a plane is 30,000 feet in the sky. And I think Louis C.K. has a bit on this too, where he talks about like, holy cow, like that's insane. Never in like a million years would I have ever thought that we would learn the science and the technology to be able to do that. And here I am not only just sitting in a chair in the sky, but also using the bathroom in the sky. Like take a minute to just reflect on how radical it is that we are sitting in a chair in the sky and we can do that for hours and hours and travel from coast to coast in less than five hours, which never would have been possible otherwise. So like, it's just, it's amazing to me that science has opened up things like this and that learning science gives us the means to accomplish feats like this. That brings me to my second point, which is the fact, which is what I'm gonna call my personal airplane pissing test, which is the fact that if you think you wanna do medicine, you have to have it pass the airplane pissing test. Specifically, what I mean by that is you really have to get excited by some of the things that you're seeing and being like, wow, how is this even possible? Like, that's insane. For me, I've actually really been fascinated by planes for a lot of my life, and I probably want to become uh, sufficient and competent enough to eventually maybe one day fly a plane. But the point is, the reason I want to do that is because I'm just so fascinated by the fact that science has come this far to let us actually drive planes. Like, that's amazing. You're sitting in a chair in the sky. That's amazing to me. Um, and so that's how I knew I wanted to maybe potentially, like, learn to drive a plane because there's that intrinsic um, wowness factor that I've always had. And I kind of have the same thing with medicine. Uh, and that wowness factor is just the fact that you, you know, like learning all these small, minute details, and you might think that are they're over irrelevant, right? Like the cholesterol synthesis pathway has something called HMG CoA reductase that's inhibited by statins. And when you're learning it, you're just like, who the hell cares? But then you come into clinic one day and you see a patient and they have an LDL of 200 and you're like, wow, that's LDL's cholesterol. And you're like, this is horrible, man. You're going to die. <laughs> so you give them a statin and you come back the next week and you see that their, their, their LDL went down from 200 to 150 or 200 to 120. That's the pissing in a plane effect. I get that same effect that I had yesterday on the plane where I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> That stuff that I learned, that inhibition of HMG-CoA reductase, that stuff that I learned about the fact that LDL is going to get downregulated by this medication, and now it actually is, and that significantly is going to impact this person's mortality and actually decrease mortality for him in the long term, that's amazing to me. That's fascinating. Um, and I just drew the parallel between that plane effect that I had yesterday and a lot of these effects that I find in science every time, which is like, wow, all this stuff that I learned is real. And it's not just real, it's impacting lives. It's not just impacting lives, it's saving lives. You know, if, when someone's on a statin, you die less. That is the fact. And the reason you die less is because of the mechanism, the way the statin works, inhibition of HMG CoA reductase, which ultimately brings down your LDL levels and actually decreases mortality. You might just all think that's textbook. And then you see these patients in front of you and the LDL actually drops, much like how you might learn about Bernoulli's principle, but it means so much more when you're actually in a plane and you start seeing the fact that, holy shit, this plane is flying 30,000 feet in the air and here I am just sitting in a chair in the sky. So that is what I'm going to call the the peeing in a plane effect or the just the plane effect. Let's keep it the plane effect so we don't make it too vulgar. But the plane effect is kind of my barometer entry test for anyone who's thinking about whatever it is they're interested in. What makes you fascinated like sitting on a plane? And it doesn't even have to be a plane. If that doesn't fascinate you, think about things that fascinate you. And whatever that feeling is, what whatever it is that gives you the same feeling that that I get when I sit on a plane or that I get when I see a statin work and actually decrease LDL, that's probably one of your passions. And I encourage you to keep doing that. Um, so I just wanted to pick up the camera and say that because, man, I had that feeling yesterday on a plane and I get it a lot. And I was like, I got to talk to you guys about this. It's really not me. And I, I've realized this. I need to not filter as much because I do think I can be honest with you guys. And so I was like, I got to share this with them. It might be a little vulgar. But I actually was like, this, this is actually a really important point that I would like to make. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. 
if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, and I have a presentation today, so I'm gonna go study. <sighs> okay, bye!